Hello guys, in today's video, I will be discussing about invoice discounting. So firstly, I will discuss what is invoice discounting. Then secondly, I will be discussing that what is the difference between factoring and invoice discounting. Because from my experience, I have often seen that students, they get confused between invoice discounting and factoring. So both of them are two different things. So first of all, let us discuss what is invoice discounting. Now, let's say my company, they have exported some products to USA and uh, I'm due to receive a receipt of $100,000 after three months. So now today I need some cash. So I want to convert this credit sale into a cash sale. So, so let's say I have paid a visit to a bank. Now that bank, they will give you 80% of $100,000. That means they will give you $80,000. But you have to open an account in bank. And you will receive this receipts on your bank account. Now after three months, when you will receive your receipts, so bank will keep the $80,000 with them. Why? Because in day one, they have given you $80,000 in advance, right? So they will keep that $80,000 with them. Now the question is what will happen to the remaining $20,000? So from the $20,000, first of all, bank, they will deduct an interest because they have given you an advance in day one. So on that advance, they will be charging an interest. So firstly, they will deduct the interest. Secondly, they will deduct a bank fees. Now after these two reduction, whatever amount is left, that will belong to you. Then plus over here, what will happen is uh, this local bank, my local bank, they will be contacting the foreign bank. Now the question is which foreign bank will they contact? They will contact the foreign bank where, the, uh, where my client is based. Okay, so uh, they will be taking a guarantee from that foreign bank that the client will pay off their liability. So client bank will act as a guarantor. So in invoice discounting, technically bank is giving you a loan and your invoice is basically acting as a guarantee. Okay, so they will give you a loan in day one and after three months you have to pay back that loan plus you have to pay interest on that loan. So it is technically acting as a uh, loan. Now let us discuss that what is the difference between factoring and invoice discounting. So in Invoice is counting, like I told you that technically bank is giving you a loan. So now it is your responsibility to recover the money from the customer. So it is not the bank responsibility to go and collect the money from the customer. No, it is your responsibility. You will go to the customer and you will recover the money. So that is the key difference between factoring and invoice discounting. In factoring, the factor company, they will go and they will recover the money from the customer while over here, it is your responsibility to collect money from the customer, not the bank. So that is the main difference between both of them. Then in factoring, actually your datas are sold. While in invoice discounting, you have taken a loan from the bank. So in factoring, you have outsourced your collection department. Okay, so that is the main difference between factoring and invoice discounting. I hope it is clear what is the difference between both of them. Now, if you like my videos, then do subscribe my channel for future videos. Thank you.